the question is, Houston, do we indeed have a problem? Uh, yes? Well, it depends on your outlook on life. Some people would say, no, I've got no problems. Some people say, oh, I have some problems. Some people say, I have a lot of problems. You're right, but I don't know what problem you're referencing The problem right I'm referencing is to do with the acting and writing strike that went on over the past six to eight months. And I'll tell you, it's caused a little bit of a problem because I just realized today, hang on a second. If there are no movies that were being made and no shows that were being written, and that means there's going to be less trailers for us to actually review, talk about, and react to. Yeah. I've already clocked how thin this desert is starting to look. It used to be a forest. Right now, it's a desert. And that's going to stay till next year. Yeah. Possibly even the year after with these ripple effects. So just get used to some questionable content, even for our standards. Because while we do our utmost to create the quality shitty content that we deliver on a daily basis, it might be extra shitty. That's just a fact of life. And I'm not sure how I can fix that because we do make a video every day and, well, we don't have any help here. It's just me. Um, Nonsense is the talent in the best way possible and that's about it. I'm also the reply fairy. She's the reply fairy. You get the reply fairy, not the reply monster. Yes. But in this case, it's going to be a bit of a disaster, I feel. The bottom of the barrel is going to be scraped about 19 times in the next 100 days. Yeah, you see, I was thinking maybe we should actually go back to doing episodic content more regularly. Oh, right, episodic reviews. The issue with that is that the moment for a lot of these shows has already passed. Yes, I can't change it because I'm not going to be making actual quality content. Probably ever, because it's too much work. It's enough work as it is, and, and it's she. But there is one thing that is quality every single day, and that is fact of the day. Page number 253, fact number. Two. 11 of the 12 men who have walked on the moon were in the Boy Scouts. Oh, wow, there's a pipeline there. I'm sure there's some type of special Boy Scout badge for astronauts or astronauts in training. Oh, 100%. People That's... who like stars or physics, they get special ones. Yeah, and now there has to be a commemorative badge, mm. right? A NASA commemorative badge? I see that happening. I think they probably already exist. Yeah. And they should, because look at that. Look what the Boy Scouts have done. Those numbers. But now girls can be in Boy Scouts as well, you know? It's true. So it's, it's true. hey, is it really Boy Scouts if girls can be in Boy Scouts? I don't know. Just Scouts. Uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe it's just the Scouts. Just the Scouts. But then there are certain things that you could do in the Boy Scouts that you couldn't do in the Girl Scouts, because mm. you were in the Girl Scouts. I was. Yeah, and you couldn't do certain things the boys did in the Boy Scouts. Yeah. But now if it's I just remember. the Scouts, then I, I just don't know anymore. I don't know how the world works. We live in the upside down.